Hello and welcome everybody to the Holy Web Socket Revival. Thank you all so much for taking the time to be here with me today. Thank you to the OpenJS World organizers for all their hard work to amplify my work and the diverse work of all the other presenters. I've only got five minutes, so let's get cracking. My name is Paul Chin Jr. and I work at Begin.com, the fastest CI/CD platform for serverless apps. In addition to developer relations for Begin, I am also the prophet of the one true god of the internet, Nicolas Cage. And today's presentation was inspired by him. I was inspired to talk about the need for true human connection and how we, as web developers, can enable people around the world to collaborate like never before. Now, WebSockets aren't new. They've been around for a decade. And if you aren't familiar with them, they enable a persistent connection between the client and the server. Clients can push and receive data from the server in near real time. Your favorite chat app probably uses WebSockets. So what's so exciting about WebSockets today? Well, now we can do it serverlessly. In 2018, AWS added the WebSocket protocol to HPI Gateway. Now, if you're new to serverless, no problem. It's an event-driven architecture that just uses cloud services to do, to do the same things that we're already doing, but with less direct management of the infrastructure. So let's take a look at this awesome diagram. There's always boxes. Uh, for the full stack of this upcoming demo. You notice that the data will flow up and down. A client opens a socket connection, sends data through the API gateway that goes to different Lambda functions for processing. This uh, demo only has five Lambda functions that will do everything it needs to. We also use DynamoDB to persist the state of all the connections because Lambda functions are stateless. And that's really fine because DynamoDB is built for this kind of thing. And I don't have to worry about managing connection pools or admin keys to a database because there's cloud security policies in place that are scoped to the individual functions. Let's take a quick peek at some code. On the client, we open a WebSocket with the browser API, send a message to the backend. Then the Lambda function saves the message data, iterates over all the connections, and sends it back to the connected clients. This way, when someone joins, they can get the latest state of all their connections. Then back on the client, there's a click handler to send the new message to the server, which is saved, pushed out again to all the updated clients. And then when someone disconnects, their connection is removed from the database and another state change is pushed out to the remaining clients. For a single user, it looks a lot like a REST request response pattern. But the magic of sockets is that it enables connections between clients. See, WebSockets enable users to send their data to each other in a single connected experience. And that's what's important. And that's what I urge all of us to explore some more. So now it is time to praise Cage. Go ahead and navigate your favorite mobile device to bit.ly slash OpenJS 2020. And now watch as we all become Cage. And I know this is uh, pre-recorded and you're watching it right now. Um, I'm also going to be on this site. And if I time this just right, you still with me? Praise Cage. Believe in the power that everybody click on the left button in one, two, three. Click left. Great. Now, one more time. Click on the right button in one, two, three. Click right. Hopefully... Sometime in the future, I will see a dozen or more heads all synced in unison, all together here with the power of Cage and WebSockets and JavaScript. Now, for the sermon. Connections are important. It's the only way that we can grow. We find out exactly who we are and the relationships that we make. And as web developers, we have an opportunity, a responsibility, and a gift to make the experiences and portals for every human on the planet to connect with each other. We can enhance this much needed connection that we are all striving for right now. We have the privilege to use the internet to make connections matter, to build real connections in our lives, in our organizations, in our communities, and our businesses. So thank you all. You are all my national treasure. This has been an absolute pleasure. There's a picture of me. Uh, please check out begin.com to spin up a serverless app in 30 seconds with only a GitHub account. That's right. You'll be using real AWS services. Um, we're always looking for contributors to Architect. Architect is the open source uh, serverless framework that this demo was built on. And special shout out to my hometown community, Norfolk JS. I am forever grateful for their guidance and mentorship. Thank you. Have a great day and praise Cage.